the website Victoria Milan, which is used for people who want to cheat on their uh, spouses, just recently did a survey on the reasons why people cheat. And some of the responses were actually very fascinating, and it had to do with smartphones and technology. What they found was that 45% of the respondents said they cheated because their partner spent too much time on their phones or on their tablets. Now the leading demographic in that response were actually women between the ages of 30 and 50. Hmm, Thoughts? Interesting. I think so, that this makes sense and I'll explain why, but I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. Look, I, I partly buy it, yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's it's more of a symbol of what's going wrong rather than uh, than the problem itself. Like if if they were pre in the old days when there wasn't cell phones and tablets to set up, they, were, they would have been preoccupied with the newspaper. In fact, I don't know if you remember this because you might be too young, mm -hmm. but there used to be like these jokes about the guy who comes home and sits on the couch and just reads the paper, right? Ah, oh, those are the good old days. Yeah, like who makes that joke anymore? <laughs> They're like, paper what? What a paper of what? I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, and that's because those dudes don't want to talk to their wives. So whether it's a newspaper or a tablet or a phone or something else in the future, that's the whole point, and that's why they're disaffected. It's a, and by the way, some of these women are just cheating on their husbands because they want to cheat on their husbands, and then they use it as an excuse. Oh yeah, he was looking at his Kindle too much. Mm. That could okay. So mm. so I think you make good points, but I also think that we do have this addiction to technology, and it leads us to neglect personal relationships. So a, an example true, of that, yeah. an example of that is a recent study that we talked about on the show that talked about how our addiction to technology actually has led to a decrease in eye contact, and less eye contact means less emotional connection. So if you're having that within a relationship, it could definitely be, it could definitely have a negative impact so I'm definitely buying that. No, I hear you and mm -hmm. Jesus come here for a second uh, because uh, I want to make an emotional connection to you guys. Okay I'm like I'm, I'm right here you never lost me okay all right now back to the story mm -hmm. uh, they're also cheating more because the internet allows them to right? yes so another statistic that they found was that 66 percent of the respondents wouldn't have hooked up with someone else if it weren't for the help of the internet and other new technologies which again makes all the sense in the world you are only as faithful as your opportunities and I know that that's a very pessimistic way of looking at relationships but it's true I mean if you have this new tool this new gadget that allows you to get pussy on command yeah. you're gonna go for pussy on command. I'm just kidding. There are lots of guys out there that stay faithful. They're not going to go ahead and fall for that. I think that's right? a funny way of putting it. I'm not sure that's the term. I like that, but I like it. Pussy on command. Pussy, I command you. <laughs> Come here right now. <laughs> is it like a cat? Like, yeah, okay. All right, so let's just say pussy on demand. On is demand, that better? I okay. Is the right, uh, way to say. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's now, funny. Look, no, but it applies maybe at least equally uh, as much to women. Yeah, of you course. You know, because like in the old days, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to go out and you're going to meet somebody at the shopping mall, like you're at the grocery the store plumber. or something, or the plumber? I mean, now you're like, blah, 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 sit there, blah, look at this. There's two, it turns yeah. out there's a million guys within a three mile perimeter who would like to have sex with me. Yeah, and that's a great right. clarification because of course it's being used by men and women. And it's because, you know, you might be in a relationship, you feel like you're not getting enough emotional connection out of it. Or, or maybe it's because we're not, you know, biologically driven to be monogamous. That is a societal expectation. Not saying that we all have to go out and have sex with everyone, but you might give in. You might have a moment of weakness and you might give in and use the technology to do that. Now just because you have the opportunity, and now we all have access to it, and that's so to some degree we all have increased opportunity. Does doesn't mean you're gonna cheat, but it does make it more likely, right? Yeah. And so now that we've, the internet gives you greater access, it's more likely that you'll cheat. That's logical. It makes sense. And it's slightly depressing. It is slightly depressing. It's the downside of technology. The two downsides. Our privacy gets violated and our spouse or partner is more likely to cheat on us. There are two great tragedies in life. <laughs> One is not getting what you want. The other is getting it.